Thanks for tuning in, guys. I wanted to give you a little rant today after watching a whole bunch of other YouTube videos. You know, I like to surf YouTube like the rest of you guys and watch everybody's videos and see what's going on and check out any new cool gear I may not know about and learn things from people. You know, I don't know everything. I'm just a common man trying to bring you common sense advice and, you know, some some gear that you may not have seen before maybe give you a little tip if I can but I I really make these videos and try to reach out to people because I want to learn myself you know I I don't know everything I'm not even close to everything you know and there's a lot of people you guys need to watch out for on YouTube that they they think they they know everything okay they when it comes to you know guns or living out in the woods or you know what's going to destroy the world there are people that are very set in what they think and there are people that are very stubborn let's just say you know I'm not gonna mention anybody specifically but I'm sure everybody here knows people like that and some of these people will get you killed alright um, plain and simple some of these people are issuing bad advice I try not to give you this is what you must do advice because that's not right my situation is very different from every other person's situation and everyone has a very different situation everyone has a very different set of skills everyone has very different means of income to buy gear I mean I'm just trying to bring you solid gear advice from a person a, a common man perspective alright and there are a lot of people out there that saying you must do this you must buy this you must pack your bag this way you must run out into the woods immediately when a disaster happens that's you know you you guys need to just take in everything and then look at your own situation and say you know that would fit my my situation perfectly that would go great in my gear bag that rifle may be good for me it has the features that I'm looking for you know don't take every don't even take what I say uh, everything verbatim because I could be wrong you know um, these people that are telling you my thing too is you know I'm not a, a big bug out guy my my main situation if something happens okay and I'm not a huge doom and gloom person first off if you know I, I do fully believe that there are very possible situations that can happen that can throw society into a collapse, all right? Um, do I think those things are probable? Yes. Are, are they very likely to happen? Probably not. The most likely thing I think would happen would be uh, some sort of viral outbreak, you know, some sort, not like a zombie apocalypse, but some mutated virus, you know, what people thought uh, this N1H1 was going to be and it didn't happen. You know, something like that. You know, if you guys ever seen the movie like Contagion, uh, you know, something similar to that where, you know, you, you pretty much would be confined in your home and you better have supplies and you better have a way of defending yourself. And that's the type of situation that, that I, I feel would be most possible. I mean, there are plenty of other ones out there, guys. Don't get me wrong. That's, there are plenty of other situations that I can think of that could happen and I have prepared for. Um, but by no means am I one of those people that think everything's going to happen tomorrow, you know, like all that. So, you know, a lot of the situations, most of the situations, in fact, 99.9% .9 of the time, uh, I can see no reason for me to leave my home, okay? If something extremely bad were to happen, if society is collapsing, and short of, you know, the U.S. government kicking me out of my home or, you know, a forest fire burning my house down, I'm not too, too really worried about leaving and going into the woods. Like, some people's plan is immediately, no matter what happens, to grab your bag and run out into the woods. Now, that is my opinion, and I'm sure some people will disagree because they're very passionate people, that believe in this but my opinion is running into the woods for your average person with a bag of gear is a very very bad idea and there are a lot of youtubers out there that are telling you you must do this okay you guys I mean I'm pretty good in the woods I 
I got some decent training. I've I've been out there. Okay, I've done a lot of camping. I you know, I'm a, a very good fisherman. I'm a very good hunter, and I don't know how comfortable I would even be living in the woods with a bag of gear. You know, these bug out bags. You know, it's good to have a bag in case you need to leave for whatever reason, absolute emergency. But don't have everything in that bag just oriented to to you know sleeping outside for the rest of your life because I mean that's just not realistic um, you know there's so many other people that have that same thought if that's your plan to just run out in the woods with no plan you know you need to reevaluate some stuff um, if you have a you know a bug out shelter or location that's fantastic I you know I, I don't have the means uh, to purchase something like that if I had uh, you know buy like a cabin or something uh, some sort of you know more off the grid type location uh, that would be fantastic even if it wasn't like fortified if it had some basic supply just to get you out of the city uh, that is a <clears throat> a fantastic idea and if you have the means I mean I recommend doing it even if it's like a summer house you know or a vacation or a hunting lodge those are all great things to have it's just a, a secondary uh, location you go and go to if you need to that doesn't mean run there at the first sign of trouble you know um, the bulk of your if you're like me the bulk of your supply is going to be at your primary location your home and you really need to stay with your stuff if you can that's my thought you know it, I am fully prepared to defend my my home um, you know I have plans for all that I, I recommend you come up with plans of defending your home the best you can uh, on how to prepare your home in case something worst case scenario did happen uh, because that's going to be most realistic for, for the majority of us is staying in your house and riding out whatever happens you know and uh, <clears throat> to think that an average you know a businessman you know with you know not too much experience or something like that is just going to run out in the woods that's insane uh, the woods are are very dangerous. I mean, there's everything out there that can, can kill you. You know, people. Even if you don't know, you could be allergic to bees. A bee sting could kill you. Um, you're much better off. You have a much better chance of surviving almost everything, uh, staying in your home. Uh, that's just my advice. You know, that, that's one of the few few real advice pieces you'll get from me w in regards to to bugging out or anything. Because everyone needs to look at their own situation. <clears throat> and determine what what would work for them. Um, if you live in an apartment building, you know, in the Bronx, I, or like you know, if you live in an apartment like downtown Chicago, I I don't know how your situation would be. That is not something I can directly relate to. You know, I I live in urban America. You know, decent community, <clears throat> and uh, my situation is very different. So some of you guys need to not take what everybody's saying you know to heart so much and really formulate your own strategies and formulate your own bags and gear to what works best for you and your family don't forget folks that those of you who have kids I mean if you think you're gonna run out in the woods with your kids that you need to really reevaluate that situation um, the woods is dangerous enough for your, for you let alone younger kids going into it so uh, yeah, I mean those those people are giving you the advice and that you're taking <clears throat> their advice to just run out in the woods and try to survive that. Uh, like it said, it's, it's so everything is so situational and there's so many different things that can happen. You guys just need to <clears throat> um, really just formulate your own plan. Take every all these reviews and you know all these strategies and maybe incorporate them, but. Don't take everything for verbatim, and uh, and and don't take everything that these people on YouTube are saying for fact. Make sure you double check everything, because I mean, there's a lot of people, especially with medical stuff. Um, you know, everybody seems to be a doctor on here. I I posted a medical bag, you know, I get some messages and stuff that, you know, say I should include, you know, some really bizarre stuff, or, you know, uh, that these can't be used for certain things. You know, I. I never claim to be a doctor or a medical professional. I, I'm just trying to show you what I have in my kit and everything in that kit. I am very confident that I can use, and I have used most of it. 
and that stuff works for me okay that stuff may not all work for you and if you're not comfortable with using something you shouldn't have it with you okay I mean if you if you can do more harm than good with it you need to reevaluate that <clears throat> and you need to not include something like that okay um, you know but there's a lot of people on YouTube that are showing like complex medical procedures and and things like that you guys need to take real training if this is something you're really actually preparing for and you know you want some medical training uh, training classes for for medicine for basic you know first aid and applying like uh, combat first aid stuff I mean, that cheap classes you can find them pretty much anywhere take like a a community college class you know take something like that for a couple hundred bucks and you know it could change your life um, just basic training stuff like that and, you know firearms training there's a lot of great training uh, companies out there that offer training for firearms I highly recommend you take training for firearms whatever type of platform that you you <clears throat> would probably use you know whether it be pistols or rifles or shotguns or or whatever it is for you um, you know just being able to bullseye shoot is not the same as being under stress and using weapons under stress and keeping a cool head and you know and just knowing your basics and things like that I I highly recommend taking training for for firearms as well as like any type of first aid or medical because they can really help you um, you know there's also people out there advising the back in a medical thing to keep all this super advanced medical gear and they say well you don't know somebody could be a surgeon that you know or you could trade for a surgeon if you are if you have tons of money and you can buy all that and store all that equipment I highly recommend you buy whatever you can okay but if you're like me and you don't have endless money to throw at this you gotta spend smart you can't just spend money on everything that's cool or whatever because you know you might be able to trade down the line or something because it's not realistic for me you know I I work full time but you know I just can't keep spending money on things that are not priority one you know make sure you have your priorities filled before you go off buying like IV bags or or field surgery kits or you know stuff like that because you know, I know guys that have like that kind of gear, and then they have like a pistol, or they don't even have like, a, a rifle or anything. And you know, it, it's all about priorities, guys. And you know, some of this equipment that people tell you to buy, you got to have. I don't necessarily agree with it. I I think you should sit down if you have a, a significant other that's into you know preparing, talk to them, you know, get get them in the mix, find out what their thoughts are, find out what they're comfortable using, and what their skills are if you haven't already you know and just formulate a plan make a priority checklist and fill those things because you know you never know do you have parts replacement parts for your your rifles you know do you have that kind of stuff you know uh, it's all about priorities and you know and like I was saying before too you don't these like medical training videos online or everything I mean I guess it's better than nothing but then you can get enough information just to be dangerous you know like especially like IV I don't recommend anybody trying to do IV kits unless you're trained in that uh, because you can really you know screw somebody up if you're trying to do IVs and and all that type of uh, advanced medical procedures if you don't know what you're doing you can really harm somebody and you know if you watch a YouTube video and you think you know you got it and then you something happens and you do try to administer I mean you can really harm somebody so get them spend the money if it's really something that's a priority to you spend the money on it spend the money in the training you know just know what you're doing and don't take everything you hear on YouTube even from me as fact alright just do your homework get a priority checklist and formulate your own strategy and take the tips along the way and you know pass out some tips to other people if you got them because you know I'm always learning new things folks and that's from you guys that's you know that's not from Joe Bluff the streets I'm getting comments from you guys and, and you know messages from you guys and you know there's some helpful information that you guys put out there so everybody's got good comments and you know good thoughts and we have a, a pretty good community find some message boards you know and uh, you start doing your homework and like I said just don't take everything for face value because it can get you killed 
All right. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, just please feel free to send a comment or send me a mail. I'll try to respond as fast as I can. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe. We got a bunch more videos coming. Thanks for listening, guys.